Hi, I'm Garland Favorito, co-founder of Voter GA. The Shelby County, Tennessee Elections Division is secretly shopping for a new voting system without properly informing their own elections commission of all the details. They recently produced a cost estimate that has gross errors in it. The following is a video clip of our letter that we sent to the Elections Commission to explain these details. Dear Shelby County Election Board members, we recently received the included summary of projected voting costs that was circulated in the public domain. I'm writing to inform you that this summary for Shelby County has gross cost estimate errors, particularly in the ongoing 14 year total. The summary provides no supporting detail that can pinpoint where the estimate errors originate. However, a significant portion of the errors may be based on the horribly false assumption that hand paper ballots would require approximately four to six additional staff per location per voting day. We know of nowhere in the country where such an assumption is even remotely true. In reality, nearly all voters know how to mark a ballot, just like they did for high school SAT tests. But many will need training on how to use the all new touch screens when they visit the polls. Therefore, ballot marking devices will require more staff. This false assumption has resulted in an ongoing estimate for hand marked paper ballots that is three times more than the actual ongoing cost would be. Furthermore, the ongoing estimate incorrectly assumes an unrealistic 14 year life for BMDs, which should be assigned a shelf life of no more than 10 years. In addition, the ongoing estimate does not appear to include the maintenance, testing, licensing, storage, and logistical costs necessary to continually provide BMDs for all Shelby County votes. The ballot on demand initial purchase estimate also appears to be double the actual cost that Shelby would incur. It was apparently based on an exorbitantly expensive BOD system offered by one single vendor. I've included our original detailed projections and assumptions for Shelby County and attached our cost estimated worksheet. It allows you to build and modify estimates for the initial purchase and ongoing maintenance of BOD, BMD, and HMPB systems. These estimates contain device cost and quantity variables you can adjust anytime to refine the estimate as you need. Since each type of BMD is different, I urge you to review a study entitled Unresolved Security Threats for Ballot Marking Devices. Sincerely, Garland Favorito, co-founder, Voter Genetics.